Hello, Pete from Divi Engine. Going to be running through another tutorial with you today. Today we're going to be looking at how to change the logo on your website when you scroll on the fixed menu. So there's two ways to do it. The first way is using CSS, and you can use CSS uh, changing the the content, but this would work on Chrome. Safari, I believe, but it does not work on Firefox, so therefore it's not a viable solution. The best way to do this is to actually modify the code in your child theme. So let's go through. So the first thing you need to do is to create a child theme. We've uh, created, created a tutorial on how to, how to create a child theme, so there'll be a link to that in the description below. But yes, yeah, so that's the first thing you need to do is create a child theme. So in the dashboard, I've created a child theme and I've called it dynamic divi child theme you can download this and I've activated and I've yeah I've acted on my site so to confirm what what we're going to be doing when you scroll down you see when the, the menu goes blue it might look horrible like that so you maybe want to change the logo or make it maybe use part of your design to make a different logo okay so we've created a child theme the first thing I want to do actually I'm going to just remove this yeah so the first thing you so part of the child theme is you have your functions.php file you have your style.css and you have your screenshot so those are the kind of core three three files what we want to do is we want to modify the divi header.php file but there isn't a easy solution to do this um, other than modify the, ch the child theme so what you want to do is you want to open up um, i'm using atom which is a uh, co free code editing software. You can use whatever you want. Um, so there's two ways to do it. You can actually either, in Atom, I can simply go to my Divi, open up the Divi theme folder, and Control C, Control V into the child theme, and that'll copy the header of PHP. Or I can open the header of PHP, copy it, create a new file inside there. Or I could actually use the file at the file explorer on Windows or the um, the, the application, you know, navigate on Mac. I mean, I'm not a big Mac user, even though I do have one. <laughs> and um, to uh, to manually create the file. So anyway, regardless, you want to copy and paste the header.php file from the Divi theme into your child theme. Once it's there, you need to scroll down till you can till you find um, the logo. So. I want to scroll down until you find the logo underscore container. So if you just control and search that, you can find it. And then there we have this image. And if you see source and this PHP code over here, it um, basically pulls in the image source of your logo. So the logo is pulled in from the, uh, oh no, let me just move this over here. Sorry. <laughs> it's pulled in from Divi theme options. And if we go over there, we have this logo URL over here. This is where it gets pulled in. So all we want to do is we want to copy that, that image source and paste it just below. Now I want to give, I want to add a class to each of these uh, logos. Well, let me just explain what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be creating two logos and they're going to be next to each other. And I'm going to hide the one logo uh, when it, when the, when there's not a fixed menu. Then when you scroll and the fixed menu comes in, then I want to hide the secondary logo, or hide the primary logo, and then show the secondary. So alternate. So we're going to add a second logo over there and give it a class of I don't know. You can call it main logo. I'm going to copy that class and paste it in the second one and call that fixed logo. So I have a main logo and I have a fixed logo. And what I want to do is I want to hide the one and show the other, depending on where we're at. So I'm just going to copy these two and save it. Now, if I just reload the site, you'll probably see two logos now. Here we have one, too. I'm going to go into my, my media library. I'm going to upload a secondary icon. I've already done this. This one over here. So I'm going to copy the URL, go back into my uh, header.php file, and under the fixed logo class one, I want to replace this PHP code 
with the URL of the image I want to change it to. Because I'm on my local server, I'm, I need to do the whole URL. But if you're on a, uh, on a normal server, you can just remove the first part of the URL and just have forward slash WP content uploads, blah, 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 to the image. This way, when you, if you had to change the URL of the site or move, the, move it to a different domain, you're not going to get any issues with uh, the, the, it not showing because it'll still be trying to look and you'll have to modify the header.php file again. But because I'm on my local host, I need to do this because it doesn't actually work. Rel it's called a re relative URL. You can have a look at that. So we have main logo and fixed logo. Now I'm just going to copy these two uh, classes. Sorry, I'm struggling here. <laughs> copy those two classes. This is uh, reload that page just so you can see and go to my Divi theme options and then there scroll down to the custom CSS section as you can see I'm looking on the main side I have my main logo and my fixed logo if I inspect this I can see we have image main logo image fixed logo so what I want to do is I want to say the image main logo is display sorry display inline block this bit of CSS pretty much says to show it inline block means next to each other that's what it is so I'm just gonna say over here just gonna I'm gonna uh, do a forward slash and a st asterisk and that helps me to comment so I want to say main logo forward slash ast uh, asterisk forward slash main logo show <clears throat> Now I'm going to go, uh, so it's a class, so it's dot main logo. Then dot fixed logo, I'm going to make that display none. And I'm just going to do this just for our sake, fixed logo hard. Okay, so I've ma made the main logo show and the fixed logo hard. So that's when you first appear on the website. Um, and it's probably need to have important. So this is where the inspect tool is quite useful because you inspect it, you can see there's the code that I've added, but it's crossed out. So it's been overwritten by something else. And I can see it's got hashtag logo. So what I might want to do is actually do hashtag logo dot main logo, hashtag logo dot fixed logo. And that way, I'm actually targeting it more specifically. If you look at my class I've added fixed logo and if you go across you can see it's got the ID of logo as well in CSS ID will have priority over over class okay so there we go, there we go. I have the main logo showing the fixed logo hiding now I want to make it so that when you scroll it changes how do I do this well the great news is Divi actually adds a, a CSS class to the header when you scroll if you look over here it's got header ID equals main dash header and as you scroll change adds a class of et dash fix dash header which is great so we can actually target the header based on that class so now I can say et fixed header the main logo I want to hide the main logo I'm just going to copy this et fixed logo space logo dash fixed logo hashtag logo dot fix dash logo I wanna do display inline block so what this does is this one does fix logo show this one does fix fixed logo main logo fixed main main logo hard Save the changes and reload. Now we'll see uh, its main logo, and as you scroll, it changes to the fixed logo. And as you scroll back up, it changes the main logo. Obviously, there's a bit of an issue there, but that's because my image has got a, is a JPEG. So that's easily uh, rectified if I just change this to a PNG. It wouldn't have that white square at the background. But that's it, really. So that's how you change your logo uh, based on fixed. Now, we could take things a bit further, uh, which is 
currently we have two logos with this with ID of logo. It's not it's not ideal to have an ID of a, a ID logo like two two IDs with the same name. So I could change this uh, secondary one to be fixed logo as the ID, and then adjust my settings with the fixed one to do ID fix logo. So I have logo dot main logo main dash logo and fix dash logo dot fix logo. Now you could actually just remove the classes. Uh, I've gone in a bit of a roundabout way, but the reason why I've done it this way is you can the easiest way would be just to add a class name. But now I've changed that ID. As you can see, the image is going huge. Now why is that? That's because Divi targets if you look at the CSS over here, Divi targets the hashtag logo with that CSS over there. Now the fixed logo doesn't have that CSS. So what, 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 what I can do is I can copy this hashtag logo, paste it in there, and change it to be fixed dash logo. So what I'm doing is I've pretty much copied the CSS that Divi adds for hashtag logo. And adding it to my new ID, which is fixed dash logo. So this is this is why I did it in a bit of a roundabout way. Is if you're not that bothered by having logo ID twice, then you can just add those classes. But if you want to do it correctly, then you need to change the ID and add some extra custom CSS. But it's not that hard. It's pretty simple. So there's that custom CSS. So what you could actually have is uh, yeah. So there's two ways, and uh, yeah, I'll just leave it like this. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and I hope it hasn't been too confusing. Uh, you can you can download the, the the child theme of this, and then you can actually just change the Im the the, Im the image URL of the second logo. Um, down below, we'll have a link for the. The, the, the child theme for you to download. Other than that, if you have any questions, please get in touch and we're really um, happy that we can help. And just if you have any ideas, send through. And yeah, have a great day and we'll speak to you soon.